Welcome to Paddling and Paddling Florida Adventures. I'm your host, Mr. D. Hey, today, no lake today. We out on the river up in Claremont, Florida. And uh, I've been here a few times and it's really a nice, nice river. Uh, sometimes the current gets really bad, but it looks pretty, pretty quiet today. But the weather forecast finally is in our favor. All those bad rains are gone and that nor'easter storm is gone and I'm just totally stoked about that. So I planned on hitting the water this morning, so here I am. So anyway, we're gonna get some shots, some uh, 360 stuff, uh, go up and down the river here a little bit and uh, should be a lot of fun. So we'll be back in a bit. There is absolutely no one on the river so far this morning. I mean, no one. I am the only one out here. But when I pulled in, the parking lot was empty. When I launched, the parking lot was empty. Uh, so basically, I'm the only one out here. And it is absolutely gorgeous out here today, guys. Well, anyway, guys, I told you that I am on the Airvolution Sport, and uh, this has become my favorite boat. Uh, I love my Airvolution when I'm doing long runs and stuff like that, but when it comes to rivers and, and tight, quick current rivers, uh, that's where the Airvolution Sport shines. I really, really like it. Uh, we did take both of our Airvolutions for the first time. Uh, we were down and we have not been able to paddle Cypress Forest with the 14 footers. We can do it easily with the 10s, but not with the 14s. Well, anyway, uh, Terry and I went out and she took the lead and took us all the way through Cypress Forest for the first time. And that was, that was really cool. But we've never been able to do that on the, uh, the big air evolutions because it gets too shallow. And, uh, and the turns get way too tight. Now the water was up a little bit, but the, the turns were still t tight as normal. But she just was very determined. And then we went past the turnaround point. And we got past the stop point or turnaround point. And she says, let's keep going. And I said, okay. Because we know there, uh, once you go past that on Shingle Creek, uh, you have to get out and portage your boat a lot and stuff like that. You have to do it. So, um, we got to a point where we couldn't, couldn't go any further without taking the boats out of the water. So we decided to turn around there, but the 14s did it all the way through Cypress Forest. I was really surprised. Oh, hello, bird. I didn't even see you. Morning. So anyway, uh, we're going to continue our paddle, guys. I hope you're enjoying this today. And thanks for coming along with us. We'll be back in a bit.
You know, one of the cool things about these Florida rivers, and I would assume other rivers do the same, but my experience in paddling didn't happen until I left uh, California and moved down here to Florida some almost 10 years ago now. Wow, nine years, nine years. Holy crap, time flies when you're having fun. Anyway, and I've learned a lot uh, as far as topography changing and stuff like that, because I've been on this river before and we just had some pretty horrendous storms or hurricane that will blow through here sometimes. And it'll totally reconfigure the river. It's totally, re and it's reconfigured right now. Uh, this little island you see right here wasn't there. Uh, and now it is. Well, hey guys, we're gonna wrap it up out here at Paddling and Pedaling Florida Adventures. Uh, I hope you had a good time. Not a lot of wildlife this morning. I saw uh, two osprey. I uh, got a shot of one of them. The other one was being elusive. Uh, I did find the nest of it, and then it kind of tucked itself in the nest, and that was the end of that. Then the wind started picking up, which was forecasted today, and I mean, it was like clockwork. It said 9 o'clock. It was going to jump up to uh, whatever. Uh, it's in the double digits now. And so I started back into the river, basically because all of the trees in the river will knock that wind down and i won't be doing all that chop riding uh two boats have been on the water since i launched which is you know kind of cool because i'm normally seeing that all the time so anyway hey uh we're gonna finish this paddle up and pack it up and head to the house so hey we'll see you on the next one